Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial on computer science. In my previous lesson, we learned together what are the difference between computer science and information technology. And in this lesson, we will learn one step further, how does computer works. A computer is a digital system, electronic device or machines composed of boldly two functional entities hardware and software. Detailed definition of computer have already explained in my previous class. Now one question obviously comes in your mind. If computer is a digital system or machine then how does the computer understand the language that we are typing or input through the keyboard? Computer do not understand the languages which normally human beings used. Human normally perform arithmetic operations using the decimal number system. Decimal means base 10 in any number system. In the base 10 number system, the digits that can be used to count are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Computer is built using electronic digital circuits and digital logic circuits that operate on information represented by two valued electrical signals that is 0 off or false, 1 on or true. and executes only the program that are written in the binary number system. Binary means base 2. The digits that can be used to count in this number system are 0 and 1. Hence, it is called binary number system. A binary digit is called a bit. A bit is the smallest piece of information that can be stored in a computer. Information is dependent in computer in groups of bits. The group of bits are used to develop complete sets of instructions for performing various types of computations. Computer understand all instructions through languages that we call programs. We give all our instructions to the computer via programs to perform a specific task. That's why computer programming languages comes in the picture. Programming languages are used by humans to communicate and tell the computer system what to do through the instructions and command. Computer programming languages are classified into two types, low level languages and high level languages. Low level language is a machine oriented and machine dependent language. Low level language resembles the native binary language of the computer and thus the difficult for programmers to understand. The language that the computer can understand and execute is called machine language. A program written in a machine language is accessed by the computer system without any alteration or changes. But machine language is the most difficult language for programmers because learning the sequence of 1 and 0 in a specific order is not a easy task. High level language is more human friendly language. High level language is machine independent and requires the support of translator that is compiler and interpreter to translate high level language to machine code and machine language. We generally program in high language which called source program, convert by the compiler and interpreter and generate an object code which is called machine language or machine code. Now we can say that we get a clear idea how the computer understand the languages that we are typing through the keyboard. Okay, let's move to the point. How does computer works? We may divide it three steps. Step one: How the computer receives data from user. Computer receives 
instructions or data in the form of computer program or high level language through an input device like keyboard and placed it into the memory. Step 2. How computer process and execute the data? Once the data are received, the CPU performs the following operations with the help of other components. Control unit fetches and read the given instruction from the memory. Control unit decodes the instructions to determine what action is required and directs that the necessary data be moved from memory to the arithmetic logic unit. Arithmetic logic unit executes and performs the actual operations on the data. Arithmetic logic unit stores the result of the operation in memory or in a register. You can see these four tabs in picture form. Step 3. How we finally get an output and result. Once the data is ready, finally computer sent back the data to output device like, like monitor, printer and projector. This is a very large topic alone itself so it is not possible to cover whole topic in one video however i am trying to give a general idea as much as possible further i will try to cover every section and areas of computer science one by one please stay with me thank you very much for watching this video i hope you learn something new from this video make sure to subscribe to the my channel for more videos on computer science and leave a comment down below if you have any queries about the topics thanks